It is day six and we are leaving Osaka today. Uh, I gotta pack my bag up, get checked out of this hotel, run down the street to where we parked the roomie, pack it all up with stuff, drive it around the block to Sid's hotel. Sid being our homie that uh, has the white and green RWB Targa back in BC. The one we featured a video of on, which I'm sure you've seen if you're a fan of our channel, and it was parked at our pop-up shop back in August of last year. I think he's got a Porsche 997 on loan from a friend over here in Japan that he's going to drive to Tokyo to drop off with Nakai. And we're going to link up with a couple of his RWB friends and convoy over to Tokyo because tonight is the uh, RWB New Year's party. Yeah, tune in. Today is going to be a lot of driving, like six and a half, seven hours from Osaka to Tokyo. And... Uh, but I'm, it's going to be worth it. I'm so excited to finally get to downtown Tokyo and uh, experience all these RWBs in their home country, which is just crazy, baffling. Like, I didn't expect to ever see this. So, yeah, today should be pretty good. All right. We are at the back alley behind Sid's hotel. Sid, say hi. There's Sid. Yeah, the, uh, the roomy sure is roomy. Sid is just running across the street there to grab some stuff. We're waiting for Nakamoto-san, who's from RWB Kanzai out here in Osaka to come. And uh, then we'll be off. We'll be heading to the PA to meet the other RWB owners and uh, head to Tokyo. on the expressway now leaving Osaka and heading to a service area where we're going to meet up with the rest of the Osaka area RWB community and head out to Tokyo for New Year's party. Yeah, it's a little bittersweet leaving Osaka to be honest. I think like so far it's without a doubt been my favorite place in Japan that we've been on the trip and felt like a place I would love to spend more time and visit again. Uh, but it also you know, it's hard to feel bitter and sad about that when I know that there's so much more cool stuff coming. I like this city and I definitely think I'm gonna come back soon, as soon as I can. Okay, Sid was just telling me something crazy about uh, what we're doing here with these RWBs. Yes, these are the first time the official Kansai cars have ever been documented by uh, Western journalism. Yeah, what an honor it is. Like, what what an honor it is to be doing this as Checkpoint right now. Sid, thank you so much for setting this up for us. Of course, this is it's my pleasure. Incredible. one of the last parking areas before we make our way to Tokyo. Unfortunately, we're actually gonna have to break off from these guys at one point to go check into our hotel because they didn't really offer a late check-in. But we're gonna drive with them the rest of the way into uh, the downtown Tokyo area, jump off, go to our hotel in Shinjuku, check in, and then just mob straight to uh, 
where RWB is having the New Year party. Our buddy Colton from Arizona, who you probably follow on Instagram if you're into cars, uh, Six Speed Soul, is on a train right now to where the RWB New Year's party is gonna be. He's landed in Haneda and he's gonna be joining us. So uh, in Japan for less than an hour and he's already gonna be there. And uh, that's where we're meeting him, throwing his bags in the Ruby and then ultimately heading back to the hotel later. But yeah, stay tuned. in Tokyo on our way to Daikoku PA to meet up with more people that uh, RWB Kanzai has lined up with. Um, after that, we're gonna rip straight out to Kashiwa Shrine for the RWB New Year party. It's almost sunset, sun is setting sort of behind me right now. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back in Tokyo and actually get to see Daikoku for the first time in my life, as well as uh, visit all of this RWB stuff and uh, see what that's all about. This is Daikoku PA, uh, where all those crazy car meets you see on the internet happen. We just rolled up with all the RWBs here. And uh, yeah, even on just like a Thursday afternoon, there's already some cool stuff here. Like I could see a cool 180SX just over here, which is kind of sweet. And even like way down there, you can see it. There's a red FDRX7, which is kind of dope too. But uh, we're here for the RWBs. We're gonna be coming back to Daikoku later on this trip for actual car meets and stuff. So I'll show you that kind of stuff then. But for now, we're just focusing on all this RWB goodness and uh, yeah, the New Year's party that we have in store later. So this is unreal. And sunset here is perfect. This looks magical. I can't even believe what I'm looking at on my camera right now. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Nakamoto-san, the owner of the blue 997 cab back there. Okay, so Nakamoto-san is uh, one of Nakai-san's um, oldest members and uh, dearest friends. He holds it down in the Kansai region. He's the boss of RWB Kansai and uh, the Osaka area. Uh, he's the owner of that car, Sky Mission. Sky Mission is the first car in the Kansai region to be built as a 997, so of the new generation form. So I don't know if everybody's up to speed, but now is the new era. And the Kaisan has actually sold almost all of his air-cooled cars aside from two. So from this moment on, almost every car he will build from now on will either be a 997 or the odd air-cooled car. And all the idlers races from now on for international customers as well as members to drive are only 997 exclusive. So the, the era of air cooled is finished.
Yeah. So Colton, there he is. Look at that. He just made it off the plane <laughs> from Arizona to Seattle to Haneda, hopped <laughs> on a train, and came to straight here. Straight here. My the bags are open. RWB New Year's party. Too sick. Me and this guy have been talking on Instagram for like six years, I think. Best friends. Best friends on the internet. On the internet. Now we're here. Really. Now we're here. Finally meet in Tokyo. Of the all, the first time we meet here has at to be an in RWB Tokyo. party. Let's uh, yeah, let's check out what's here. This is mad. This is mad. That was amazing. The RWB New Year's party was everything I've ever dreamt of. Um, it was really hard to film, it was dark and it was crowded, but that really added to the ambience of it. And holy crap, was it ever cool to just connect with people and just make just connections. And all of the different people that uh, no checkpoint, that blew my mind. So if you're watching this video and you were at RWB New Year's party, please leave that in the comments because that was insane. The amount of encouragement that I got from people and the amount of uh, people just like, me telling them, it's like, oh man, I follow you on Instagram. And I'm like, oh yeah, I follow Checkpoint. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're somebody that I admire and inspired by and it just feels amazing to think that maybe we're doing a little piece of that for other people too. So yeah, RWB New Year's party, <laughs> that was an absolute hit. Um, I cannot wait to share this footage with people whenever it is actually coming out. So yeah, that was an amazing, amazing night.